Hey guys, what is that? Today's video will show you how to add LUTs to Adobe Premiere Pro. Do you want to know how to use LUTs in Adobe Premiere Pro? Well, stay tuned because this video is for you. All right, so um, we are now in Adobe Premiere. And as you can see here, we already have a video for, our, for this example. Uh, we have a cowboy here. And I have already, uh, as you can see, the green line over here means this video has already been rendered so that our workflow would be smooth because if I didn't do this before we recorded this video, this would be a bit laggy. So basically what a lot is, I mean, LUT means lookup tables. It's pretty much uh, a faster way to change the colors or the color theme of a photo or a video. So if you want it to have a different vibe or different feel than the original footage, that's where you put LUTs in. And before we go look for LUTs, um, let's go to any browser. And if you want to get stock footage, there are a lot of uh, a lot of websites that are free. Pexels is one of the best. Uh, Pixabay is another one. As you can see here, um, just with Pexels, just click on videos here. In the middle and as you can see these are the video uh options <clears throat> that's available or you can just search for for whatever video type you're looking for in, here in the search bar right and as you can see this is the cowboy photo of uh video that we are uh currently using for an example and this is this is for a phone but we made it in such a way that it's for a youtube video for example um so it's the same for uh pixabay you just click on videos and there you go the videos are going to be here right now um so uh download luts online right just search download luts online and you're gonna find a lot of free and paid options here as you can see this is a sponsored uh result by motion array and motion array is, is is a good uh source for premium LUTs if you want to pay good LUTs although they do offer free downloads as well let's check that out um and then there are other websites like this on1 you know download free LUTs for lightroom photoshop and premiere pro uh 21 free LUTs from premium beat uh and as you can see here these are free it says free so <clears throat> this is a uh a template for a uh, title for text for fonts um this is a glitch uh a glitch effect for your logos there's there there are a lot of there there's a lot of options that you can use for uh and presets but what we're looking for are again luts and let's click on on one see what they can offer as you can see here uh free LUTs, color boost so this free LUT pack for boosting color is excellent for enhancing specific tones and colors in your image uh nature and wildlife flood so this free LUT pack for nature and wildlife is the type of pack for applying both modern and vintage moods for your scenic hike or national park visit so this seems to be a bit more vintage uh a more vintage LUT with uh slightly like off color um faded look which looks pretty cool black and white luts uh deliver everything you need uh, to apply contemporary classic and modern black and white styles and as you can see this looks like it's a photo from decades ago right like from the 40s or 50s right uh cinematic luts this usually cinematic luts are used for short films films uh sometimes commercials but yeah, so like landscape LUTs. So anyway, you, you, get, you get the point. There are different light LUTs for different types. Landscape, lifestyle, commercial, like what I said earlier, moody, portrait, LUTify me. Uh, LUTify.me is, is another website. So there's a lot of a lot of website. As you can see, like we said, LUTify me is here. Uh, free for video, 200 free. LUT. There's a lot of options uh, for you to download LUTs for either if you're using Premiere Pro or Photoshop um 
But anyway, let's go back to Premiere. So, uh, so if you want to change the mood or the color of the this thing, is what you need to do is go to Effects. And it's going to be in default on the right, right? And there are presets, Lumetri presets, audio effects. We don't need these right now. What we need is Lumetri color. So click on that. And uh, the first thing you, the first thing is going to be basic. Although you could input a lot here, it's it's not advisable. You go to creative, creative over here, right? And then on the look, there's a drop down, and as you can see, we have a ton of lots installed right now. So let's say, and usually these are for movies. Uh, let's say let's choose uh, Pulp Fiction, and there you go. It changed. Uh, the theme of uh, the Pulp Fiction colors. And as you can see, it doesn't look quite that good because uh, if you see under here, it's under intensity, it says 100. So the LUT effect is 100 right now. And you need to adjust that to your liking. So at zero, it, this, is the or this is the original. Let's make it like 50. It looks okay, right? 50, right? There you go. It looks better than all the way up to like 100, right? Or, um, or let's choose another one, Gladiator. There you go. It's a bit more warm, a warm tone to it. And if we click on this, instead of dragging the bar, Let's click on 50 and see what it looks like. See, it, it looks way better. Um, it looks like, you know, near sunset, cowboy, riding off to the horizon, riding off to the sunset. Uh, and let's play it. And let's uh, render it first, see how it looks like. And there you go. It looks like the cowboy is about to run off you know, right off to the sunset, right? He even says goodbye. And there we go. He's, he's off. Yep, there he goes. Now, <clears throat> now let's see the one without it. So it's a bit flat, right? Because it, it is a raw video. It is a raw file. It, it looks better with the other one. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. You can download and just upload your, your LUTs. So by the way, if you don't have your LUTs installed, all you need to do is, again, click on Look. So as you can see, these are the LUTs that are installed for me. But if you don't have it, you just click on Browse. And then you just like any other, when you look for a file in any other software, you just need to go to the folder that your LUT is in and you can use it. You don't really need to install it. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the video. Hope the video helped. Like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell icon, and we'll see you on the next one.